Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We are playing a bit of Lumo today. Lumo is actually one of those games that I got given a code for a long time ago, and I never actually got around to playing. So thank God, thank God for these catch-up days. Whenever I get to check out some stuff that I that looked really interesting that I wanted to check out closer to release, but then of course time makes fools of us all, and we never get around to seventy percent of the things that we wanted to do with our lives. So let's check out Lumo. See what we've got to see. Mm -hmm. Posing for thumbnail. Hmm. <laughs> oh, excuse me. My voice was starting to go there a little bit. So this one's actually from Rising Star Games. Um, that is goddamn adorable. No, seriously, like that. That actually, like that looked unbelievably adorable to me because it reminds me of all my good old days. Triple eh? Limited? <laughs> So, I know nothing of Lumo. I know nothing of it. I know Rising Star Games as a publisher because they've actually released some interesting stuff. Um, they they are willing to think out of the box whenever it comes to puzzling style. And uh, Lumo, I know, is a PC game. Well, I mean, no, it's a PC. You know, everything's a PC game these days. But I know know it from, as a PC game before knowing it as a console game. So basic controls: uh, tilt left, tilt right, movement, book. Which is set you pause. Uh, wand, light, and jump. Say, so got platforming basic controls here. So, not, not exactly the most elaborate menu screen, but who needs that whenever the game is as simple as it is? So, are we going for the adventure? Infinite lives map save game? Wow. Old school, finite lives. Well, we're going to adventure style, because we're only going to jump in here for a little while to check out. I, I love the fact they use the trash can image. So, please select a character. Okay. Uh, well, we're picking her, and we will be. There we go. Pink. Go on pink. It's got to be pink. Uh, control orientation. Test selection. So, what? Oh, okay, 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 okay. No, not a big fan. Yeah. Um. Control orientation is exactly as is. Yeah, that's going to be the one I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm just saying, like, keep the orientation to the controller. I can actually imagine and imagine layout myself. I don't need to worry about that. It's actually a visual. It's the idea of like cognitive play to visual play, which never you actually have to choose those different selections. Are we late for school? Old school PC sitting in the corner. Oh, by magic, I got slapped into the door! Oh, noes. So, is this a framework of actually like looking at what it looks like on the outside of the game whenever you actually like realize that this is actually playing a digital version of Nightmare? <laughs> I got turned into Vivi! Woohoo! Woohoo! I don't actually get break my fourth wall. <laughs> Alright, so obviously we're in the dungeon. Doors only escape. We must climb, jump, make ourselves free. Derp, derp. Key? I don't need no key. It's a book. That book. Oh! Ah! <laughs> the man who rushes is the man who dies. Every day, you so fine. You make every bad have fun. I'm continuing my exploration here, but I'm not really seeing anything. But that was the jump. That's how big the jump is. Okay. Whatever. I for getting onto stuff like this. But yeah. Aha! I know I'm gonna jump! Yay! Oh, Jesus! Ow. Nice. 
Isometric perspective jumping! I got this. I got this. Stay on target. Oh, I got this. Yay! Hey, what? Whoop. Can we get the rubber ducky? No, can't get the rubber ducky. Problem is, oh, wait, there we go. Ah, uh, there we go. God damn it. Ah, there we go. Ah, son of a bitch. There was a switch. Didn't even see the switch the first time. We have the thing. We got the thing. We have the thing. The thing made us do things. Can you see more else from here? Oh, oh no, that is bad. No, we actually have jumps. We got leaps! Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, that's the way to make it. So it changed the puzzle since so you walk out of one room into the other. Makes sense. Epic leaps! So yeah, this is unbelievably calming as a game. It's actually, it's quite mellow. It's just, um, I've already zoned out kind of like playing this and as much as I'm like talking and making ejaculations with my voice here, this is a soothing little kind of like dungeon exploring experience, which obviously develops as you go along. Yeah, I got a bug, I got a bug, At least the book tells you what you need to do. It tells you the story, not the story of Lumo, but the kind of things that are sitting around. Oh, I was worried that I actually had hit seven. What? All right, let's take a look around and see what else we can find. Hurt. <laughs> I don't know what it said in the wall there, but I'm just going to leave it be. Damn it. Orientation and uh, directionality. What? Hey! Oh, that one, though. Oh. What? Ah! You have to jump before you actually get to them. I thought I was actually shutting it off by just standing on top of it, but I wasn't. Okay. Take me upstairs. Claim me, claim me, claim. Elevator boy! <laughs> One of no idea how many. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy around, searching for things in the jumpy town. <coughs> I have a feeling I could just drop from here, but I'm going to let it drop me down. But, um, yeah, I mean, since you guys have figured out and seen what the gameplay of this is in such a short time, this is... Magical, magical box. How do I use a magical box? Know how to use a magical box? more 
like it. So it does feel like some of these rooms are actually designed to be obtuse. Right? That, that's, that is an intention. Yeah? I mean, it's... Do I take that with me? No, I don't. Um, the puzzles of this, I imagine, get uh, easier with time. So, so. Again, like, learn the mechanics of, like, how things are actually meant to be moved from one room to another, or where boxes are meant to go. Um, alright. I'm assuming I actually can make... So, they want me to make that jump? There we go. Ow! Ah, so essentially I found a map. Okay, so that's essentially what our orientation is. Like, we're essentially getting to know where things are. Maps and things and bits and pieces we can take with us to go to room to room to do different puzzles. Okie dokie. I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to stop playing this now and maybe come back to it at a later time if you guys want to see more of the Lumu Caverns. This is um, obviously we searchy puzzle dungeon team. That one requires a wrench, so I don't have the wrench. I have to come back here with the wrench to be able to do that. So once you have the map layout memorized, you kind of Metroidvania your way back to where you previously were. Interesting game type. Um, very methodical, kind of like chilled out gameplay. Kind of thing that I could really get into with a little bit of free time just to actually... Ah, uh, motherfucker. A little bit of free time just to... Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that. I'm going to make it easier for me to get over these bloody things. And... Boop, and... Boop. The, um... The, the puzzling dungeon. It feels old school. Uh, I can imagine this being a lot more difficult with finite lives if you actually didn't want to keep running into stuff that you already knew. That's an elevator. Well, literally, I think we've actually run- Oh, wait, no, that elevator works. I was going to just say that the elevator doesn't work, then we're not going to start continue playing. So as we wander through this cosmos of corridors and puzzles and walls and places to go, I don't know, it... Okay, I got killed by a toaster. that point we'll actually call it a day folks <laughs> so obviously i unlocked the uh, spanner i can go and do the next bit i might actually play this again in the future very very soon if you guys want to see more of it of course remember to hit the comments and like underneath and say that you want to see more of lumo's little continuing little adventures so uh yeah guys thank you very much for watching um if you enjoyed the first few minutes of lumo here on passage of skin and you want to see more of it make sure like i said comment underneath like it share it whatever you want and if you actually enjoyed hearing me talk and you want to hear more stuff like this from different games and different places and different times and in different ways, make sure to hit the subscribe button and I look forward to hearing from you. Of course, if you actually really enjoyed it and you want to get in touch with me directly while we're doing the live streams or recording these things, you can always go into the live chats on whatever service that you're actually watching on or you can actually join us on Discord. There is a link underneath the videos. And if you want to find me in any other way other than that, all you have to do is just search for Passage of Skin. I'm, I'm not trying to hide, guys. It's kind of easy to find me if you want to find me. Um, right where you ever need me. So thank you very much for watching. And um, oh wait, one more thing. If you are watching it, you're gonna be watching on whatever service you manage to find me on. If it happens to be YouTube, there we go. Up there will actually be three boxes popping up. One of them will be cold opens that I've actually done here on the channel for other games. Of course, that would be the most recent video we've ever played on this channel. And over here is a video just for you, based on YouTube analytics and everything else that actually decides what you see on this bloody website. Then that will actually choose a video for you based out of the ones that I have already put up. Now go watch that one. They know that you want to see this one, so go, enjoy it. And uh, if you don't, well, in that case, I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.